Japan's sexual enslavement of Korean women during wartime has been an issue for years as Tokyo refuses to fully acknowledge its role in the atrocities that were carried out. Along the way, many individuals have taken up the issue as a source of artistic inspiration. Our Im Yuni joins us with the newest edition. Welcome, Yuni. Well, thank you for having me. So, some artists have created paintings, statues, and such, some of which I brought into the studio. And all of these are to bring awareness to this issue. Now, amongst those tributes are also movies. And the most recently released movie has a very sad story about one of those victims. So, take a look. Kuim spent most of her life in China. Now she's an old woman, but she's hiding a dark secret in her past. A secret about how she was taken from her home in Korea and ended up in a foreign country all by herself. Kuim was a sex slave taken by Japanese soldiers during the war. And she flashes back to her treacherous journey in the movie Tuning Fork. The issue of the sex slave grandmas is something everyone should know about. So this movie was created upon profound meaning. Kim is played by actress Lee Yo Ki, and her younger counterpart played by Lee Yoo. And though it's been decades since the end of the war, Kim is still stuck in China. She's desperate to get back to Korea, and the pain of her past is driving both her and her granddaughter, played by actress Cho An, to the limits. In order to prevent such a tragic aspect of Korea's history from repeating itself, I thought about how I have to portray this so people will never forget. The sexual slavery of Korean women by Japanese soldiers during the war has been a prominent issue in society, appearing on books, on the silver screen, and all over the internet. Even short animated movies like Her Story, which tells of one grandmother's encounter with sexual slavery, brings the issue to awareness. It's movies like these and Tuning Fork that shed light on a dark past in hopes of healing the former victims and also to make sure it never happens again. And that last piece of animation, I think, uh, are all ages allowed to watch that? Or is it just well, children? Well, it's, it's available on YouTube, so you can. But I mean, I must warn you, there are some graphic visuals there as well. But the whole mm. short film is only about 11 minutes long, so very short. But it's very important that this kind of issue is brought into awareness as well, that it's really uh, shown and not hidden under, I guess, the rug, mm. you can say. And so along that, amongst those, there are also cartoon exhibitions as well. And so um, actually, in fact, they're showing the flower that doesn't wilt, which is a very uh, big exhibition that they showed um, around the country, and it's going to be showing until the 11th of November at the Youngju Culture and Art Center. Mm, and that exhibition is taking place in different um, cities, I exactly, guess? Exactly, exactly. So it has made its way around. It even made it all the way over to the Angoulême uh, France Cartoon International Comics Festival uh, recently. And so right now it is being shown here in Korea again. And so it features 14 different artists who have created various different comic series uh, influenced or inspired by this issue of sexual slavery of the Korean women and so it is um, I've been to the exhibition and it is beautiful to look at because it is beautiful art done by some amazing artists but at mm. the same time it is a very heavy I guess topic you can kind of say but it is really something that people should look at I saw many families go together so um, I think it's something that people should really take a look at yeah and I should also take a yeah, look at I highly it, recommend it for this thank weekend. you for the report uni you're very welcome